Uh, here we are, 21st of September, uh, out in Quarry South. This is our understory of Clover Field. Uh, it's on one of the harvest logs if you want to look back uh, it's for us combining in here or the, uh, or the field above it. Um, after combining, we direct drilled some stubble turnips and uh, forage rape mix into here uh, with sort of partial success, I suppose, where the clover isn't quite as good. We've got a very good stand of forage crops where the clover is better. The stand is less good, a bit patchy. Um, I'm not sure what to make of it really. Early days, turnips in these thinner patches of are probably going to end up with a bit more bulb. Whether that will keep the sheep for any longer, I don't know. But what I do know is that the uh, the benefits that this whole field is giving um, to the whole farm is, is pretty important. We've got clover in flower down here at the moment, so great source of pollination. Um, all the bees are taking cover at the moment. It's actually pouring down. Um, we've got good soil cover. We've got good rooting going on. This will help carry the sheep through the winter. Um, yeah, building organic matter in the soil, building nutrition for following crops. This is going to go into spring barley. And uh, we'll have to just have a little play around with some of the nitrogen rates in here. Um, again, a bit of a thin bit there. You can see why with the clover as thick as it is. Um, so we shall, uh, we shall wait and see how this sort of uh, crop develops, but it's, it's growing on well at the moment. Um, so it's got hopefully another good month six weeks of growing to do um, certainly having enough moisture at the moment uh, and we'll let you know how we get on with some lambs on here later on or some ewes